Oh, there you are. Hey, Mr. Bully. How you doing? How's it? Oh, it is. It's it's confusing. It's confusing. Let's put it that way. You know. Yeah, it's confusing how. Well, you know, you know. Uh, let's say the states. The states are not. Uh, the states are bigger than, than South Africa, which is where you are. Um, but you know, yeah. just like South Africa, we have different realities. You know, so you know the yeah. Durban reality is not going to be the same. As the as the as the Dimbaza reality is not going to be the same as the you know the Blumenthal reality, whatever you know what I mean? It's not it's not going to be the same. And so because of that, and then, and then you know when you're trying to deal something like this pandemic, I'm, I'm making my yeah. my morning thing. I got my vitamin C and my moringa. I'm making it with my my little mix I can drink this morning. Anyway, um, so because of all these different realities, even in certain neighborhoods. You know, yeah, one part of one city will mask up, another part of the city won't mask up. You know, some people will mask go to some up, yeah. wedding, and one person will will be will have it. You know what I mean? And then, 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 and then other people in the wedding will get it, but they won't show symptoms, so they'll go someplace else. And all of a sudden, wherever they else go, you know, you know, twenty nine people died in that other place. It's it's very confusing. You know what I mean? I don't see how people are going to get around all this stuff, but that's just the way it is. You know, you know. I'm glad that South Africa is, they, they, supposedly South Africa is, has said that Americans can come back in or whoever can come back in. But, he, but, yeah, but even that, I mean, you know, you know, you know Ian, you know Ian? Anyway, he runs a travel co company, he said, you know, yeah, yeah, you know Ian. Um, yeah. And he was saying that, you know, some Germans had wanted to come and then they, they somehow they changed the rules and they, they had to not do it and then they... They changed it back again, but now it's too late. It's, it's, it's all, they don't have the act together, you know. Yeah, they don't have the act together until they, they find that way they want what they want, because it's about them and the vaccination and other stuff. But they, what they see, they see in South Africa, they are not eager to, to bow down to vaccination. The, 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 the South Africa is what? The, we are not bow, we, we don't bow down to take vaccination. Yeah, see the problem. The problem. See, here's the, my problem. You, you, South Africa or Southern Africa. Let's say Southern Africa. You know how I talk. I don't. Southern, yeah. I don't. I don't like that South yeah, Africa Southern business. Africa. But Southern Africa, you have the tradition of traditional healers. A lot of them. They have schools for traditional healers. A lot. That anybody from all over the world can come. At whatever culture you are, you can come and become a Sangoma. You know what I mean? And because you have all, and plus you have all these, you have all these uh, plants and herbs that they don't have other places. Like, like I'm mixing my moringa right now. I'm mixing my moringa thing with my vitamin C, buffered vitamin C in my mango juice, you know, pure mango juice. I'm mixing it right now to, you know, for my more little morning, yeah. my little morning drink. Well, the moringa comes yeah. from South Africa, and you can grow the, you can grow the tree right there. We got all kinds of robots, all kinds of things. And my problem yeah. with this whole thing is it's been from almost like day one, because you know I'm into this kind of yeah. stuff, was that they keep on I telling know. you to do the same thing. If you, For the whole year, you've heard do the same thing of mask up, social distancing, uh, wait for the vaccine. Exactly. That don't make no sense to me. I just, I, exactly. I, I'm you going see, like... You, you see, uh, you see. Okay. I'm listening. You see what they're doing? They, they, they're, 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 yeah, I'm outside. They're creating the tension between us so that we can have that fear. But people that we don't have fear, we are not using masks, and then we we, we have we are, we are we are we do have gatherings. Because if they say the maximum now it's hundred, so they know on our gatherings we cannot do that social distance. You see, if it was real, they would not allow even that. That's so that the, the, the gatherings of less than 20 people, less than 10 people, only three to four people, you see, so that there can be a space. They know that there, there is no such a thing, but they are just creating fear towards people. So the moment there is a fear that is created to you, and then you, you have that fear with you, and your immune system and the mind, suppress the immune system whatever food that you get it will like make you sick while you are not sick thank you that's the whole thing i, I think part of it is that we, we're going through again we're going on medical science from the west 
And what happens is they have limited, medical science from the West have limited powers. I mean, even in South Africa, let me put it this way. When I was in, uh, where was I? In Gambia. Gambia has herbs Gambia. that they own, that like, like if, you, if you put the, the continents together, Gambia is sort of hooked up with like, uh, with like Ghanaia from South America. And if you look at Ghanaia, Ghanaian herbs, and you look at Gambian herbs, they have the, they have the most unique herbs in the world. You can't get these herbs anyplace else, you know? Well, you get yeah. here now. But the point is, yeah. so if you grew up in the Gambi, you're going to have a different view of plants and food than if you grew up in the Netherlands. It's as simple as that. Because you ain't got the same fauna, flora, whatever the heck they call that kind of thing. And and what the problem, the problem okay. is, the people who got the press and, and, and the re so-called research are all from the Netherlands. I'm not. I'm just. I'm just making it up. You know what I mean? Or from, from or, or from Germany or wherever they, where they're from. The people who do the research in Gambia, you know, when I say your traditional people, they have this this read that or what we call orology. You know, they have this whole. They have this knowledge from 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 uh, generational knowledge, and it's not written down like you know or codified yeah, exactly. the way the Western medicine exactly. codifies it. Exactly. But because Western exactly. medicine has. Been Transcend it to generation to generation. That's right. Yeah. So if you have a meringue, if you, if, just like if the great example is aloe. You know, years ago people said, oh, aloe will cure this, will, will do your cut away. And then Western, well, I'm sure, like thousands of years before then, you know, you get a cut, they say, oh, take that plant there and rub it on you, oh, you're all right. Well, then, you know, thousands of years later, that's when the West gets that information, and then they, they, they make some sort of big to do about it, and always say, "Look, Aula will do this." But it's like, "Oh yeah, you tell us something we know already. That don't make no sense, you know." We know already exactly, exactly. Because even now, me, what I'm doing, I'm boiling the the, the herb leaves. You see, there is a herb, and then there are leaves, and then I'm taking the leaves and and, and boil the leaves. Then I'm I'm doing that at drink so that it can suppress everything that is in the body that is not needed. There's this report. Go ahead and listen. What 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 leaf is this? What leaf is this that you're boiling? The the, the ganja leaf. You see, the, the, oh. there's an herb, and then there are leaves. Yeah. I'm taking the leaves out, and then boil boil the leaves, and then drink the water. Okay. Yeah. So using hey, you're using hemp leaves. Yeah. Yeah, I got the CBD oil I've been taking every day. But here, I've got this whole other thing now with oils. Because I realized, again, this is like what we call, again, generational knowledge. Because when I was growing up, every spring, every change of season, usually spring, mm -hmm. uh, my grandmother would, we have this nasty, it's called castor oil. Really nasty stuff, you know. But my grandma would make this stuff and give it to us. And, you know, you see the worms come out of your body, come out of your stool. I had those worms in me? How did those worms get in me? But then when you get older, you never do that anymore. But the, how, how could, it, it, well, however it, it works. But what I realized is, well, then they say that cod liver oil is good for you, and fish oil is good for you, and then the CBD oil is good for you. So automatically in my brain, I say, wait a second, if all this oil is good for you, and if you, if you look at your body like any... Um, uh, mechanical thing, you have joints and tendons, that shouldn't you be oiling your, your joints and, and, and you know, your, you shouldn't you be oiling your joints? And the only internal oil you can do is like fish oil, cod liver oil, like that. And then and then I just got this report, you know, where I, I listen to these podcasts or whatever, you know, I listen to the internet. And this guy, Corey Holcomb, he was saying that he was feeling, you know, some kind of way, and he took, a, uh, he took um, a coconut oil. Like like three mm -hmm. tablespoons, you know, you don't you know, take it like that, and he felt much better. Yeah. Because I think somehow if, if oh. the oil is going through your body, the oil is picking up stuff. The oil is doing something. Okay. So, so I'm just saying that instead of if I was if I was to be the the czar of 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 dealing the the COVID czar, 
I would just look at the world and say, okay, everybody's got different things in the world. Okay, you all got a lot of coke. What, 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 what you all, what you all learning from coconut oil? What are you learning from moringa, moringa uh, 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 leaves? What are you learning from ganja leaves? What are you learning from daffodils? What are you learning from whatever happens? And then they say, then you, they give the reports back, and then you say, okay, they, okay, fine. Uh, if, if you mix olive oil with the, with the moringa leaves, then you're going to get a certain kind of result. So you get Italy and South Africa talking to each other, you know, Southern Africa talking to each other. Those kind of things. So, but none of them are doing that. They're on a laboratory trying to make some man-made, you know, uh, water-based thing, water-based thing to stick into you. That they can, that, 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 and, and the whole other thing is, for me, for me personally, I'm not talking, and everybody is different. I realize that I can't take needles. When I say needles, I'm not talking about like, like uh, teeth work when they, they put that, um, you know, the, the Novocaine in your thing. But like a needle in my body that, that's really in any nervous system kind of thing has an effect on me. It's called a fear of needles or whatever it is, but it has an effect on me. Needles, just puncture, giving me a needle okay. has an effect on me personally. You call it psychological or whatever you want to call it. And there is, and, and, and I'm trying to say, everybody is different like that. And these folks are not, not looking at that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's terrible. They're just doing what they, they're doing to get what they want. But that's not the big thing of today. You sent me something, and this is interesting because yeah. you, you, you know the work of Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. And, um, you know, one of the things he says, one of the things he says that if you want to get rid of racism, which is white supremacy, then basically the victims can't really do it. Well, they can try. They can keep on struggling. But the people that get rid of it are the racist white supremacists. No, but he just, they just exactly. see, he's basically saying you really get rid of it. White people got to make up their mind to get rid of it because they don't want to. I'm gonna say he doesn't go this far, I guess, because they're not the ones that caused it. You know what I mean? Well, white people are the ones that caused it, so therefore they're the ones that got to get rid of it. And to get rid of it most effectively, exactly. white people got to come on board. Now the problem, not the problem, but the situation. When you send me that clip with that young white guy talking to, talking to EFF line, talking. To, talking to the nearly full of line, he says it perfectly. And of course, they're going to get him because he's a white guy in a situation saying anything. So they're going to, but, but unless a mass movement of white people come and say the same thing, then it ain't going to happen. You know? So, uh, so but anyway, I, so, but, but, yeah, go ahead, I'm listening. Master Gully, the wind is the wind is the, the wind the wind is messing you up, man. You gotta get some place without that wind. Are you walking? Okay, let me go get a place. No, I'm on the wind outside because there is a noise inside, there is a TV where I'm at. But now I'm going to a space that there's there, there is no wind. Yeah, this is morning for me. I always gotta blow my nose in the morning. I get mucus that, that sort of gathers at night. <laughs> I haven't taken my morning shower yet, you know. Uh-oh. Are you still there? Uh-oh. I think we're having a South African moment here. South African connection here. Why is this thing going like that? Uh-huh. Come on, thing. Stop messing up. Uh, gotta call you back, Mr. Stoller. Let's see what happens. Uh. Nothing like mango juice in the morning. Okay, you yeah, back. Bruce. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. International call, you know. <laughs> That kind of thing. <laughs> so anyway, no, back. It was, it was the, uh, yeah. So anyway, back to the sky. So so any you you can always find somebody that 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 you know somebody out of somebody that's going to make sense like that. So he can he, he can say what it is, but yeah. unless the mass of white people understand what he's saying and understand that it's no good for them, but, but who's going to give up the power that they that they, that they got, whether it was legally or illegally? Who's going to give up that power? Exactly. You know. Exactly. Because you see, yeah, because there is a much to, to, to do almost today to 
they have a match to Brendan Felt where there's a, there's a racism school. So they go to approach them. When they arrive there, the police immediately, they shot at the people and then they throw the water tanks and there, there's water, there were all water everywhere, but the people, they didn't take down, they kicked out. Mm. And then that, that match is still going on. There are still talks outside and it's going to be a huge, huge, huge thing that is going to happen because they, are, they want to destroy racism in Cape Town, in South Africa as a whole. But they are just showing those schools in Cape Town and that place, Bregenfeld, there. There is no space for racism in South Africa. Mm. Well, and like you now, oh, it's, it's, it's more than anything now because it's not only the, the, the members of the party, also the community people. That's what you gotta get. Yeah. Yeah. Also, the community people are involved, and like, there are people everywhere. I think it's more than five thousand. Really? Oh. Yeah, you can check on on, on, on on YouTube. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that way because you know, you know, the the way the news media, the the, the, the what we call a major news media works in in this in this part of the world. You know what I mean? They don't report on anything that doesn't support white supremacy. Yeah. <laughs> That's the exactly. problem. Exactly. Yeah. And, and then yesterday, and yesterday, you, you know about yesterday because you, the press, the, the, there is a commission, Zondo Commission, whereby they are bringing everybody on board who, who stole money from South Africa. And then you know what Zuma did? He just walked away from the judge. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Z Z Zuma's. <laughs> Zuma's gangster anyway, man. Z like I told people, that guy is a gangster. when I that told guy people, is a real gangster. I told people from the beginning, I said, you know, everybody when they, when Trump came into office, they said, oh, Trump is better. I said, you know, what are you South no. Africans talking about? You have the original Trump. Zuma is the original Trump. What are you talking about? You know, <laughs> Yo, you know what happens is, my brother, you know what is happening? The guy is showing the country what the the the, the party is doing behind the closed doors so people they they are just blindfolding themselves he's telling them like we were all stealing even you zondo is a judge you cannot you cannot judge me why do you need to be judged because you also need to be here with me and then somebody else need to take take the wheel and drive and then we must dance for the music of the law mm. he's telling them but people they don't understand they need to understand because whatever that he is doing He's trying to tell them, like, oh, we are all together on this. You know, here's the problem. Well, here's 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 my problem. I'm gonna I'm gonna the best way I can say it in the, the way that we can you you'll understand me when I say it this way. As you know, I'm yeah. a, I'm an audio dramatist, so I look mm -hmm. at everything in terms of like a play, you know, mm -hmm. of like a, a production, a three act. It could even yeah. be four or five act production. Five that's the way that's yeah. the way I look at it. So my only thing, as, as, especially as, as a producer of a, a director of audio drama or theater, director, if you will, yeah. what, I, what, what a real director does, they're just a manager. And what they're managing mm -hmm. is they're managing the ingredients that they have. So if I have an mm -hmm. actor that has a, 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 a really loud voice and I have an actor that's... Mm -hmm. No, forget that part. We did a play one time called Oya, oh yeah, right? And, oh, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and one of the characters was, was a, 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 a Risha called, called Obatala, who's a king, you know? Oh, he, he's the one that, that, that invented, invented human beings. I'm going to get into that. Anyway, in casting the thing, uh, because, of, you know, this is off-Broadway, and I just so happened to cast this, well, I didn't, my casting thing is very unusual. I leave it up, I, I put my little yeah, two know. cents in, and I leave it up to the, to, to the producer and, and the writer to finish the process, right? And so they cast this guy, and he's like basically a, 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 a flaming, I have to say faggot, and I'm tired of this gay stuff and this homosexual, <laughs> faggot, right? He's a faggot, okay? It's as simple as that, yeah. you know? So this guy's a flaming faggot. What's that fl pretty flaming faggot, right? Now, how am I going to make a flaming faggot? This, and now, as a director, how am I, I mean, they cast this, 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 this faggot as a king. How am I going to do that? Now, of course, there's kings. There's always been kings that whatever, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? But in the, in the African tradition, it ain't going to fly, right? So I had to stage it so this guy couldn't couldn't do much walking. You know what I'm saying? I made it so that he, you know, his movement didn't. didn't yeah. But that's me. I had to manage that. He couldn't deliver, yeah. So, okay, so that's how I got around that problem, okay? Now, here's the thing. And I'm going to get into that part. 
But here's the thing. So if I was handling this whole thing with the Zoom or the judge or whatever, have you know what I would do? There used to be this thing where you have these, uh, you have uh, uh, a kid for a day. Like the kid would be the mayor of the town for the day, you know, mm -hmm. and he'd act as the mayor. You know what I mean? Like that. All I would do is I get a bunch of 25 year olds or whatever, 20 mm -hmm. to 25 year olds. I say about 20, 25 to 30, 30 year olds. And they would yeah. be, and they would be the judges. They would bring the, they, they would look at, the, they, 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 so they have the whole team of everybody, but they would make the final decision with a, with a committee of all, you know, 25 to 30 year olds making, making the yeah. decision. I'm not going to even go to 35 because that's too old for me. Mm -hmm. I'm saying about 30 year olds, 30 year olds, and they would judge and they would be bringing it up because they don't have the history that they, they don't have the perspective that this judge that, that, that that's Ozuma knows where all the bodies are buried, whatever have you. And they would be the prosecutors. They would be the ones asking the question. But now you have these old, you know, you have some 60-year-old asking some 70-year-old a question, and they, but, but they revered the 70-year-old because they got him out of, out of apartheid, suppose, supposedly. No, no, I don't... Yeah, I'm trying to say there are ways to do these things. But the people... There are ways to do these things. And I don't... I think the only way this really... Anything is going to happen, you have to have a total upheaval. I'm, I'm, I have to say it again. Young people... You gotta kill. I mean this metaphorically really? as well as really? feels, as well as feeling. You, you gotta kill your parents. You gotta kill your parents. Your grandparents. You got. You gotta kill them. That's why I say if you wanna vote, my thing is my voting age should be from sixteen. I would go down to fourteen, but let me leave it all alone. I start with fourteen. From fourteen to seventy five. For sixty five is good. To, 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 to sixty. To sixty because now it's sixty because they are getting pension from sixty. Okay, so so basically, you can vote from 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 fourteen to sixty. You say, well, what about a sixty-year-old or seventy-year-old? Well, you just got to lobby some thirty-year-old if you want your, your your position done. That's what you got to do because you can't know you can no longer vote. Simple as that. I have a solution for everything, <laughs> and there is what I'm trying to say is, if I have a solution for everything, I'm trying to say I'm not a unique person on the planet. There's a bunch of other people got a solution for a solution. You know, and my solution does not ex does not include no eighty five year olds and no seventy year olds or no sixty five year olds. My solution, uh, you know, what I'm saying that's my point as far as the electoral thing goes. You know, that, that's the whole thing. So there you go. And and, and, and what I'm, I'm I'm thinking of is like it's very interesting because now it's it's approaching to the to the municipal elections. For for next year, and then the the, the way that things are happening, like yep, 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 yep. because the young people now are booming and they are shifting the side, they are moving to the side that people they didn't think of. Because people they can see now whatever that is happening was not supposed to happen long time ago. Even the old people now they are like, oh, this is not what we we, we voted for. Mm. And like there are stuff that people they see, people they are sick and tired of what is going on. Because mm. you see now they are looking in front of people, and people they can say like, okay, these people they don't give a fly about us. We will fly. They mm. don't give a fly. We will fly. And then people they will fly. I'm like when people are floating, oh, they will be out of stock in their ballot. <laughs> So you're looking at these elections. You're looking at these elections, and next year is going to change everything. They're more important than any other kinds of election. It's very important because if you can change, check the the, the 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 drastical change from now, from now, because it started from last month, but it didn't like people were talking. Because people are talking, but now people are doing and talking. People are doing and talking because even in Zabalaza, Zabalaza now. They, they chased away the councillor today, and then wow. Park, we, we're supposed to go and, 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 and tell the community we are the crime people to take care of the crime, we are there. Even in the other village, they invited us, I don't know, for tomorrow to go there. Yeah, now we're, we're, we're talking like this, people don't understand what Zabalasa is. Zabalasa, how, it's a village. How, how, how big is the village? How many people? By how many people is in the village? We can say like seven, seven hundred. About people, seven, and then like uh, 700 people and then maybe we can see how many houses and shelters it's how many it's a village I would can say maybe 400 and something houses or 500 but 700 people 
And so that's that, that's one village. Now another area we can yeah. also we can sort of call it a village, but it's really an area. It's Polar Park. You yeah. mentioned Polar Park. How big is Polar Park? Polar Park. Polar Park maybe it's one point seven or one point eight houses, and then household maybe they are more than two thousand. Okay. So you know you have you have one yeah. area that has seven hundred people. You have another area that has two thousand yeah. people. And so so basically, yeah. Zimbabwe has a bunch of areas like this anywhere. From basically, yeah. from basically, let, let, let's. I'm just going to make a number, up a number. Anywhere from anywhere from basically 500 people to 200 people, uh, or rather yeah. to 2,000 people living in different areas all around, and each one has a counselor. Yeah. And you're saying that because it's such a small number, the people and that's the way it's supposed to be in the United States. Also, the people can basically say, "Your counselor, you're not doing your job. We don't even see you here." And you, they can actually, I'm going to say it this way. I'll, I'll have to be dramatic. Sorry. They can beat them out of the village. They can beat them out of the area. They chased them out. They chased them out because somebody called and said, "Oh, they chased them out because they didn't." They they, they said they go to there to do their things. And they said, "No, no, we, we asked you a long time ago if you are not here to deliver what we asked for because we are still have questions. If you are not here for that, go out." She left <laughs> because we remember most. We have two words. It's thirty six and thirty eight. It was thirty four and thirty five and thirty six. Mm. So. The, 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 the council of 36 it's, it's the lady and then for 34 is the guy you see so that the, the council of 36 was there mm. she was chased away mm. they are right. sick and tired it's interesting on the way things are going because i think what's going to happen everybody's looking at i don't know what they're looking at in the united states but let me say the next election cycle is in two years basically 2022 mm -hmm. for uh, certain mm -hmm. local kinds of things and if and, and, and if things go in the way you're saying they're going, then basically our elections of twenty twenty two will be very important. Because your 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 yeah. midterm elections are very important. And so I, I, I I'm, next year. So let's I'm gonna see what happens. This is gonna be kinda of interesting. Just see what see how, how things are taken. Because people are still hooked yeah. up with this Donald Trump thing. I don't even know why people pay attention to Donald Trump. He's done. So go on to move on to the He's next gone. person. He's done. <laughs> move on to the next He's person. What are, you, what are you doing? You know? But I think uh -huh. this I think part of this is just that the the, the, the the news people or whatever have you, they have to have something to hold on to to make their money, you know, to make some sort of splash. They know he yep, 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 yep. They mm. know he can stop he cannot stop talking. <laughs> so he's got something there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, so anyway, so so so, so 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 you're saying the EFF is on the move? What are you, what are you saying? Tell, tell me the what's going on. They are on the move. They are still EFF is still on the move or on the break of that much. Even now, they are still pumping it. They they are talking. They are having some talks. They are gathering people, and people are coming. They, they started early in the morning by eight. Now what time is it? You see? Hmm. They think they are they are they are they are they are, they are, they are taking them or fearing them. But they make them strong because instead of, of running away, they come in numbers, even the community people of the Cape Town. Wow. Because the, the, the Brengefeld is the place for, for the white people. Mm -hmm. That is racist. Because they go to attend the racist matter of the school. But the community people and the parents, they go to hit the, the EFF people last week. And then now, the EFF, they tell them, okay, fine, we're going to come back. And then they say, they, 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 they say they're going to come in and hand over the memorandum today. The police, they, they were shot by police and then the water cannons sprayed them. But they never gave up and they just become stronger and stronger. This is interesting because this movement that's happening now is that basically, let's call it the beginning of summer. That means they got, mm -hmm. it's not just summer they got to go through those three months. They've got to hold another six months of this struggle. This struggle and people mm -hmm. can stay out for six months in this struggle. This is quite interesting. Yeah. What's, what, what's going to happen? Struggle. It's wow. a big struggle because the racism in South Africa is too much. It's too much, especially in Western Cape. I gotta especially talk. Western Cape. I gotta talk to some other people in the Western Cape. I need to talk to Sheppy yeah. if I haven't done. We'll see what happens. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Well, look. Thanks for this little update. You know, I'll talk yeah. to you. You yeah. know, pretty soon. Otherwise, otherwise everything is uh, all right. What's 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 happening? The yeah. pe people. Um, you know, are people getting done what they need to get done? What's what's happening? 
yeah, people are getting done what they're supposed to get done, and then also I just go to Alice. Alice, guys, uh, <laughs> they just get, 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 but the, 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 the person that is pushing for himself is Ati. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because I was in Alice last night, and I go this morning, and Asana is coming back to push, and then I will go now, assist her and straight to their business. Uh -huh. so they must they must match together because they are ladies and then Asana is having the potential for the paperwork and Siskeb is having the potential to work and Asana is here to open up the the interior and exterior decoration and art. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, when I the so I will be able to help them together because there will be no too much hassle because they together they will be helping each other also. Okay. Well, you know, let's just work out because as you know, I can't you know, I can only do what I have already done. I can't go any further because then it becomes, you know, more me doing it. And I like it better when you all yeah. when you, when you all do it the way it's supposed. To, you you do it the way yeah. it's supposed to be done. Let's put it that way. That's only yeah. only way I can say it. Yeah. So which which gladdens yeah. my heart. It makes me happy to know that I am not I'm yeah. not essential anymore. I like not being. I like being redundant. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> being redundant is a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, we'll see what happens. Sure. Well, hopefully I'll be back in January. I'm looking for January, yeah. man. I'm looking for January because yeah. they yeah, should they should open up. They, they open it's almost over. Well, it's opening back up, but that doesn't mean anything. You know what I mean? It's just gonna whatever. Yeah. They're gonna open you it back up. Have your I'm just trying to get it so that I can, you know, I need to get back because yeah. this, this American thing is not. I'm not. I'm not too happy about this whole uh, this whole American kind of thing. You know. <laughs> You need I mean, African accent. 